everybody, this is Kat Khan from Bay County Public Library and we have our new session of Upcycled Origami with Kat. And this time, because it is January, New Year, we are going to be doing a couple of winter themed origami. I've got some very easy um, penguin origami to do. One that kind of stands up a bit, like so. If I could get it to stand, there you go. And then like a little baby penguin. And also because 2022, um, starting February 1st with the Lunar New Year, is going to be the Year of the Tiger. So we're going to be doing a little tiger face that you get to decorate like this. And we're also going to be doing a special tiger mask. This is with special paper provided by um, Tuttle Publishing Company. And this is going to be a take home kit that you can get from the Youth Services Department at Bay County Public Library um, at around the end of January while supplies last, okay? So these are the things that we're going to do today. And we will start with our Easy Penguin. And I use black origami paper because you want to have that contrast between the white and the black. If you don't have any of this paper, come see me at the Adult Services Department in Bay County Public Library. Ask for Cat and say you need a couple sheets of black origami paper to do your penguins. And I will give you some, no charge. All right, okay. So for our penguin, we're gonna start, and I did print out instructions online. Those are always handy. You can just Google origami penguin and you can find several different designs. So you wanna start with your paper and you want the black side facing up. Now we do have a black table, um, tablecloth here, so. But you're gonna fold it in half into a triangle, like so. And then you're gonna open it back up to that black and you're going to fold the bottom corner up just about like that. You want to make that bottom edge so the penguin can stand up just like that. Okay. And then you're going to turn the paper over to the white side and you're going to fold in these two edges, but you're not going to fold them all the way in to the center line. You're going to fold them at an angle because you want the white belly of the penguin to show, and these are going to be the wings. So you're going to fold them at an angle about like that, okay, on both sides. Make them as even as possible. Make sure you try to get a nice, good point at the top. So you're gonna have a shape something like this. Then you're gonna fold this point down, like so, just about like that. Because that is gonna be for the penguin's nose. Then you're just going to fold the paper in half back along that crease, just like this. And then this point, just kind of grip it with your thumb and index finger right a little bit below this part here. And then gently pull this forward like that. And then 
this down. Okay, we have a penguin. Nice and easy. Like I said, they, they stand up, so it's really nice. Okay, now for this baby penguin, I would suggest that you not use black paper because you want to be able to draw the eyes on it um, unless you had white pen. If you had one of those cool white pens, then you could use black paper. But otherwise, um, I would suggest a lighter colored paper. And I happen to have some really nice um, two-sided origami paper. So um, I'm going to be using that. But you can find, um, it can be um, white on one side and, and color on the other. It does really work better if you can have the contrasting sides so that um, the, the penguin's little belly does show up, okay? So for this one, you have your paper and we're going to be folding it in half into a triangle. Then you open it up and rotate it till the crease is vertical and fold it in half into a triangle again. Like that. And then you're going to open it back up to your square. And this time you're going to fold, you're going to fold the bottom part, the bottom corner up towards the top, but not all the way. You want to fold it about about like this. Okay. And then oops, nope. going to fold this point, this point here, you're going to fold it down about a third of the length. You can fold it down, that's the little beak, okay? Just like that. Okay, turn it over to the other side. Now you're going to be folding these points in, but not all the way over. You're going to just kind of try to overlap so that the, um, it's going to, I usually kind of try to work it so that you're just folding like so, so that each point will kind of meet the edge, and then you're going to crease that, and you want to just make sure that it's flat on the bottom, and then pull the other side over. So you notice on this one, the point just meets the edge here, and it's just kind of working it by, just, you know, sight. So you have like this. And then you're going to fold each of these out. And what you want to do is, again, keep folding it straight along the bottom, but just so that the purple part will stick out like that. And untuck the other one and do the same thing over here. A good guide is the bottom of this little triangular part should be meeting the, the edge here. And when you turn it over, you're going to fold over this top. You want to make that little flat head. Just fold over the top like that. 
and there is your little penguin shape. And then you just get pencil and pen and just draw the, um, the eyes however you want them. And once you draw them, you can go ahead and color them. If you have a little white paint or white out, you can do the little pupils of the eye so they stand out a little more on the dark paper. But uh, that's all you have to do to just um, have fun and decorate your little baby penguin. Okay. So mine, the pupils got a little bit, I colored in a little bit too much on this one. But there you go, baby penguins. Now, the tiger head's a little bit more complicated. This one, I, um, you can use origami paper, you can use just um, colored paper. I like to use kind of the orange because, you know, tigers have that kind of orangey um, color fur. So we're going to use this. And again, the tiger face you can find um, online. Just um, Google tiger face origami and you should be able to find it. Okay. So this one doesn't matter because the paper is colored on both sides. But you're going to be folding it in half. into the triangle and then you're going to fold each of these two points down to this bottom point so that you end up with this shape like this okay now these are going to be the ears so you're going to be folding them up at an angle and not all the way to the point. You want to just kind of work it a bit to um, something like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now with the um, thicker paper, like the um, copy paper that I'm using, you do have to make sure that you're really running your fingernails along the creases to make sure that they are good, strong, firm creases, okay? So you have this so far, right? this part you're going to also fold in these corners fold it in like just about like that and that kind of holds down the ears and gives it more of um, the, the face shape both sides like this. Okay, when you turn it over, you can start to see a little bit. You can see the ears now. Okay, now this bottom point, you're going to fold it up just about to where your point is on the other side. Just kind of Work it for yourself there. And I always tuck in this back one, just kind of tuck it in underneath like that. And this one, you're going to fold down this point like so. That's going to be the nose. Okay, and that's it. The rest of it is drawing 
your tiger stripes. So I followed the directions on the, um, on the paper to just kind of get an idea. So you want a cute tiger face, so you make the nice big round eyes, and then you can do your tiger stripes and just pencil them in first and then um, color them in with black pen or a Sharpie marker, whatever you have, and um, just decorate your face so that it's gonna look like this and have your cute tiger face for our year of the tiger. Year of the tiger. You know, um, Chinese astrology, Asian astrology, uh, has a 12 year cycle. Actually, it's like a 60 year cycle because um, you have the 12 signs, animal signs, plus the different elements, wood, fire, air, you know, the, um, water. And um, both of my grandparents in Japan, my mother's parents, were born in the year of the tiger in 1902. Long time ago. <laughs> so, um, they, when it was their year, they would have, they had this gorgeous statue of a tiger that they would put out um, in their living room for the year um, to signify it was their year, which I thought was always kind of cool. So yeah, I have a soft spot for a year of the tiger. Okay, now, as I said, we're gonna have a take home kit and this is a courtesy of Charles Tuttle Company um, that sent me uh, the instructions and uh, the paper several years ago for another project. But they um, have instructions here on how to fold a tiger mask using their special printed paper. And each kit is gonna have the instruction sheet and a sheet of the special printed paper. And when you fold this and follow the directions, you end up with this, which is like a, a, almost a three-dimensional tiger mask. So, again, it's going to be folding in half into a triangle. Make sure that the, the white part, yeah, it does have a border, but mostly white, facing up and fold it in half into a triangle, like so. Just like we did with the other tiger face, we're going to be folding the each side corner up to the top corner. Really do your best to match up the edges and corners as you fold. That is a standard thing with origami to help make sure that your folds look as nice as possible. So you have this shape, okay? And what they say is to fold this bottom, the, the, the closed corner. You're gonna fold it up and it says roughly one-fifth of the length. So you kind of fiddle around with it. It's going to be about about there. Now you're going to turn it this way. So that's now going to be the top. And you're going to fold these bottom corners up and you're going to use the edges of this little triangle as a guide. So you're going to fold the edges to kind of meet along that those angled edges. Now you're going to um, fold each of these corners. You're going to fold them down about like so and fold it, bring it up, 
open it up, stick your finger in here, and then press down along that crease. You're doing an inside reverse fold. Like so. Then do it again on this side. You're folding it. Open up. Make sure you got a good strong crease. Open it back up. And slide your finger in there to make that little pocket and then fold this corner in along that crease just kind of tuck it in there and fold back and I need to fold this one in just a little bit more to get your angled tiger ears Now, once you have done that, you're going to fold it in half. This way. Make that crease. And then open it back up again. And now you're going to fold this bottom corner you're gonna, well, turn it over first. You're gonna fold this bottom, this, this bottom corner. Again, see that point there on this side? Kind of mark it with your finger and you're gonna fold the top corner up to meet that. Right along the crease, like so. Okay. And then you're going to fold this down to make the nose. You can even see the nostrils. See that? Now this one, you're going to fold it this corner up to just kind of overlap a little bit over the nose. Like so. And then fold this down, this little point down. And then these little corners here, you're just gonna fold in at a little bit of an angle kind of round off, not quite round off, but give a little bit more of an angle on the face, like that. So you're just folding in just a little bit, if you can see that, just a little bit, just these little corners at an angle, okay? And now the rest of it is just, we're going to be folding um, a couple of creases this can be a little bit tricky, but you want to do basically a valley fold, so you're folding it this way, um, from, let's see, about here into the center. So you're just kind of creasing just like that, okay? Just to the center. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side because you want that angle, okay? Like so. And then open that back up. And then from here, from the, um, basically the bottom of the ears, you're going to fold a mountain fold again to the center right there and another one on this side you 
kind of have to fiddle around with your creases sometimes to make it have that kind of rounded face effect. Like so. So this one came out a little bit different. It depends on how you fold your ears. But, um, but you can just kind of work with that to make your tiger mask. Okay. Like I said, instructions and paper will be in the kits that you can pick up from Youth Services. And have fun for Chinese New Year. Thank you.